Alright, going down, down, down. Down with the sickness. Oh, they don't have flicker strike. The lightning guys. Oh wow, resist lightning. That's great. It's of course exactly what I want. But my double strike makes short work of them. That's good. And if you'll notice, the first hit takes away all of their energy shield and then also um, a bit of their life. So I guess the energy shield is not the kind of buffer I thought it was. Maybe, I don't know if that counts for me too. Yes, I know they have lightning resist, but I'm hitting multiples with this. It doesn't really do that much though. So doesn't these guys. This guy stood up again so there must be a, a necromancer nearby or a lich or whatever they're called. Hmm. Also resist lightning of course, of course. Kill that archer. Oh, I got him. The guy with the vest is the special one, okay. Stop bothering me, you. Hmm. Still glowing while they're on the floor. That's a little hard to make sense of um, which enemies are alive and which aren't because of that. But uh, it looks like my inventory is all filled up again, so let's just quickly go to the vendor. Hello. Oh, hang on a sec. I got a chromatic orb after that. All right. Oh, I'm not high level, high enough level yet. Um, this is better. Yeah, this is better. And it will allow me to uh, switch in the skill I was missing earlier. Whirling Blades. So, once I level up, which is almost the case, I'll be equipping that. So that's cool. Good stuff. Alright, so where are we going at this point? Um, there's something over there, which I need to get to. I can't open this door? Huh, it looks like a door. That's weird. Take another sip of my drink here. As I level up, nice. Alright, let's... Uh Oh, okay. I guess there were two bad boys there. Let's uh, level up here. Good. And continue. Getting closer to that blood magic. We found a waypoint. That's good. Oh yeah. Of course we want to equip my new armor now. There we go, and oh. of course now I can't, guys. Mocking about in my infantry. Please leave me alone right now. Um, yeah, no, no way of equipping the ray zombie skill, but. It's the least useful. Um, wow, that guy was not where he thought he was. All right, all right. Let's just keep on keeping on here.
that's a all right that's poison hyper strike of course it is makes sense these guys resist lightning as well everything resists lightning pretty much except these guys now so that's great Uh, the uh, instant life gain is pretty good, actually. I think that's a, that's a decent trade-off there. Oh, I can't um, upgrade my spark skill because I don't have enough intel, I would imagine. Right? Yeah, I don't have enough intelligence. I am too dumb for it. So the ground slam is, I think, the skill I have in my other weapon, so that's why I can't use it. Oh no, it's it's also a skill I can't use with a sword, so that's why it's in my other weapon, of course. Yeah, that instant life gain is pretty good. Even though it's less life gain. Yeah, yeah it's a good trade-off, because if you're being too slow with your potions, not being proactive, then that can really save your life. And if you take a lot of damage out of nowhere, it can also really save your life. Those guys didn't have lightning resist, but there are spiders that do. So, hmm. Interesting. Just trying to find... That's where I need to be. I see it. They come in, come in freeze, don't they, the blue guys? And the blue guys resist lightning, that's why. Alright. So now we uh, continue on this way. And there's Chamber of Sins level 3. Alright, nothing interesting in this chamber. Except the next Chamber of Sins. Let's go down. Monster level 21. That's equal to where I'm at, so... I look a little bit more barbarian-esque. I don't know. The other uh, armor covered more of my skin. <laughs> but I don't mind. It, it doesn't look too bad. And it kind of fits more with uh, me not having any armor on my legs. I don't know if that stays that way all the time. It looks a little weird walking around with uh, my golden boots. And then... Nothing on my legs. I mean... Alright, this is what's going on. There we go. Took care of that problem. It's like, where do all these guys keep coming from? Oh, wow. Okay. You. Stop doing that. Yeah. The lightning resist, alright. But there were a bunch of dudes there. So... It makes sense to use my AoE ability, even if they do resist it. Get rid of that. Alright. Like I said, keep on keeping on. I only said that like five times already, so let's stop saying it. Almost level my life on the gym, that'll be very useful. What's this? You are cursed! Take more lightning damage. Oh. Wow. Okay, he does that, right? He casts conductivity. I'm, I'm guessing that's the curse. So I need to be careful with this combination because he has skeletons that do lightning damage. He resurrects. Resurrects those and he can oh okay that was a trap. I see. I see how it is. It is lightning. Hmm. Well, I'll shock you because <laughs> it does nothing. And I didn't even hit anybody with it. Let's do it again. And it really does nothing <laughs> against these guys. Uh. Ah, 
die, die, die. Not me. You. No, not you, the listener. These guys. Um, let's back off a bit and take them on one at a time. Just lightning, etc., etc. Oh no, I couldn't even read. And there was too many abilities on that guy, but he's dead. Is somebody resurrecting these guys? I think he, someone is. Well, that um, double strike ability comes in pretty useful here. This guy was just hiding out in the corner there or something. Did he just spawn and crawl out of some kind of place? It is all elemental damage, this one, so. For a second there, I was like, oh yay, he doesn't resist lightning, but then I read. It's just elemental damage, just in general. <laughs> That's even worse. Alright. I'm pretty sure that um, eventually that's not gonna matter as much as it is now, but... Because eventually you're just gonna deal so much damage with a certain skill that... Um, if you spec a certain way that is. It's the conductivity, so that means one of those guys is... Whoa! All right, all right. I see. I see how you. Pl I see how you want to play this. I do not care for your shenaniganry. Now they casting lightning, and these guys resist the elemental damage. Oh, but I do one hit them. No, I don't. Maybe I just got a critical. No, I can't. I can't get a critical. Well, I don't know. I don't know why the one guy died in one blow, and the other guy didn't. Maybe because he was up against the wall and thus all the lightning hit him. Maybe. I have no idea. It seems to be the way to go though. Getting a lot of use out of the double strike right now. As well as out of the instant life flask that I have right here. Huh, this seems not to be the way to go. Well, there's only one way to go then. So let's go that way. Almost. More vandalism. <laughs> I wasn't even close to hitting that guy. That was that was a fail. That was a big fat fail. Hello. I don't know what's going on there, but it looks dangerous. Let's hide behind the pillar and hope it just goes away if I don't look. Whoa, missed. Level that up immediately. Oh, I gain less life as well. No, no, it's a percentage. Life gain on here is a percentage. No. Just 12 life gain, so it should still, unless the resistance makes it so it's less easy to hit them in the first place, but... I don't know, I don't seem to be gaining much life. Oh, well, now I did. That's weird. So yeah, even though these guys are resistant to lightning, hitting them with the AoE still makes sense just for the life gain on hit. Because it's more life gain this way. Is someone resurrecting these guys? I think someone is. Take these guys out. Right, I see something over here. Yeah, he is. There you go, the Sin Lord, dude. Take out this guy. Alright, now just ramming until they're all dead. What I gotta do. Alright. Alright, well that was that was a pretty interesting fight there. And um, 
the worst may yet be over here. I don't know, I'm trying to see if there's like another necromancer here somewhere. All this lightning making me a little nervous. Get double strike. I'm gaining some of my mana back by hitting them actually. Which is really helping in the mana situation. That was because of the uh, amulet I found. But it was only like plus one or something like that. I don't know. It, was, it didn't seem like a big deal. Um, plus one mana gain when you kill an enemy. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like a big deal. But I must have something else as well that's doing a better job of it. Huh. I don't know. I don't know why I'm... Maybe I'm just regenerating that quickly. As you can see it go down and then goes back up. I don't know why that's happening. Must just be regular regen. Oh! See that's... Hoo -hoo. That insta life potion and flask came in useful there. Alright. Alright. Um. Vandalism. Level up. Great. I feel like all of a sudden I'm leveling up pretty fast, so it must be because these guys have a higher monster level than what I was fighting previously, since this is like a dungeon. That must be why I'm leveling up a little faster than uh, I was. First, alright, so... Increase critical strike multiplier, no use for that. This way. Just making sure I don't miss any useful skills along the way. The way. What's that? I wonder. Oh, and one of those. Okay, let's let's see if I can draw the guy out. Um You wouldn't resurrect a special one, right? Yeah, please do. Alright, that takes care of that. Now we can fight these guys. Only two of them or something? I guess. And it becomes so hard to see when all these corpses are... Shocking... To look at. They're so shocking to look at. All these corpses. Let's not pick up the large life mask. I don't think I have use for it, and it doesn't sell well to vendors. Already have two of them sitting in my stash. It should be enough. Like Smith Whetstone. Alright, we're going somewhere, we're going places. Huh. And... Hello. You made it around the barrier at Prisoner's Gate. Such talent. Make your way to Sarn, Exile. You again. Alright, alright, so that's what that was about. Um... I wonder what would have happened if I took the other way here and could I... It's everyone. Help me. Oh man, boss fight. Boss fight, action time. Oh wow. Okay, 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 just hit her, hit her, hit her. Try and stay clear of the skeletons is my 
ID. Gained some life by doing the AoE because there are a lot of dudes there. That, that was that worked pretty well. Come on, Feloditas. Staying behind your minions, are you? Kill those, no problem. Just don't want to fight you and your minions at the same time, is all. Oh, I can't kill it with that. I was just looking to gain some life. <laughs> Alright, I was just looking to get a life. That's all I was doing. I cannot carry this. Huh. Talk to the girl. Uh, I think the girl can wait <laughs> as I pick up some more crap. <laughs> no rush. Um, jeez, man. Um, um. All right. And then, can I? All right, let's do it like this. Let's just keep that carved one there for now. All right, hello, Helena. Um, I don't have any room for a potential quest reward, so I should probably just head to town, just in case she she wants to give me like a, a gem or something. And I'll miss it if I don't have room in my inventory. In my inventory, my infant inventory. Hello. Who knows? Um. Um. Hmm. That would be a useful skill over here. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I kind of did, didn't I? So... Can be used with the quick weapon. Oh, it doesn't work with two-handed. Oh, oh, alright. Um, well, alright. That, uh... Puts a damper on my plans. Hey, wait a second, why... Heavy Strike is now dealing more damage than this skill. Um... Okay. That's weird. So now I'm equipping Heavy Strike. Alright, um, I guess I don't need double strike then. I don't know, whatever. Switch to heavy strike. What, is, what am I opening? Oh, just the options menu. To damnation with piety. She was after one of Melagaro's creations, the Baleful Gem. It's in here somewhere and it's something that wicked woman must never get her hands on. You've seen the encampment on top of the dam. Find the Baleful Gem and meet me there. My days with the Ebony Legion are done. Alright, Helena. Get the Baleful Gem from the strange device in the Chamber of Sins. Let's do that. My cleave gem is ready to level up. It's a lot less damage, but it arcs. So I guess that's useful um, for hitting multiple cre creatures if they have lightning resistance. Hmm. That thing looks strange and peculiar. Alright, that's what we'll do. Was there like a waypoint here? No. Probably nothing over here either. It's 
So now I'm really curious because she was standing over on that spot and I could have just taken taken this route. Right? Oh, it's blocked. Okay, that explains it. Alright. Oh. That's why. Alright. Alright. Let's see Helena here. Um, a lot of people have something to say now. Here I stand in the light of day. An impossible dream for a woman caged in horror. Thank you again for saving my sorry hide. Sorry in so many ways that I simply can't begin. Actually, that's not true. I can begin by offering you more than mere thanks. I can offer you my allegiance and my mind. The sharpest weapon that I possess. My knowledge is your knowledge, savior. Oh, I thought I was getting like a follower. To recover the spike. For a second there. What? What, what just happened? I didn't click anything. Why Why did her dialogue just Hello. stop? Uh, Here I stand in the light of day. In the latter pages of Melagast. Uh, this. Piety led us into that den of disturbance to recover the spike. The Thaumaturgus Melagaro used the spike to inject the essence of the virtue gems into living subjects. You've seen the results up close. Fidelitis. Oh. There's every sign that the device should have been there, but it's gone. Please, find it before Piety does. Who knows what blasphemies she will beget with a tool like Melagaro's spike. Alright, just just to sum it up for you guys. Um, the Simic are here, and <laughs> they're casting uh, ape tokens, and um, they are mutating people into scorpion guys. Is that sum it up? Scorpion girls? Whatever. I don't know why I didn't find that actually, that was that was dumb. The spirit is strong in Felshrine. You touch the stones, you will feel it. They spoke to me, those stones. Told me to take their altar and to find the hand of a good man. He lived in that church, as you call it. The altar is his, and it will wake when he touches it once more. You could find the good man. Bring me his hand? When the spirit of the altar awakes, I will uh, share it with you. I promise. Uh, I, I didn't understand any of what she just said, but it's a quest. Alright. So... Look at how many quests I have, and there's still two more dudes who have quests for me, it seems. I went into the Eightleg Forest, in the southwest, met the mother of the eight legs. We fought. I stuck my spear in her eye. It is still there. Irma okay. said to leave it there. That my spear is a thing made for dark science, whatever that be. But no, I want it back. Mother Eight Legs would smell me from far off. She doesn't know your smell. Could you go and get my spear from her? I don't think it matters that she doesn't know my smell, because I'm gonna have to fight her anyway, I'm pretty sure. But alright. Another quest. Why not? The Oriasen girl. She is alive. She wants to stay with us, not to go back to her people. I say we take her traitor's heart to their chief. Ask that the warriors in black leave us be. I sleep less, but no more, thanks to you. Elena gave me one of her shiny stones in peace. I give it to you. Huh. Okay, so I get a gem here as a reward, that's pretty good at least. Um, but I'm curious, do I get to choose which of those quests I do? I don't know. Let's see. Enduring Cry, from the War Cry. Adding Endurance charges proportional to the amount of surrounding enemies stunts all nearby enemies to attack the caster. Okay, so this is what those Endurance charges are about. 7 Endurance charges granted per 100 nearby enemies. Whoop. Per 100 nearby enemies. Uh, 100 nearby. <laughs> I don't. Am I ever gonna face 100 enemies at the same time? Okay. Warlord's Mark. And also, um. I don't have anything to spend those endurance charges on, but I think what I read is that they give you more life or something while you have them, something like that, I don't know, so this is like a tank ability 
if you're in a party, something like that, I think. Um, Warlord's Mark curses all targets in an area. Attacks on the cursed targets will leech life and mana. Killing them will result in more flask charges and a chance to gain an endurance charge. Oh, okay. Base duration is 9 seconds. Cursed enemies grant 100% increased flask charges. Wow. Cursed enemies grant 3% life leech, 1% mana leech, and they have a 20% chance to grant an endurance charge when slain. That's uh, Sounds good. Flammability curses all enemies, making them less resistant to fire damage and giving fire damage in a chance to be ignited. Not something for me, because it's a blue gem. Hatred casts an aura that increases the cold damage of you and your allies. I don't have cold damage. And it's a green gem. Leap Slam jumps into the air, damaging enemies and knocking back some. With your main hand where you land, it requires an axe, mace, sword, or staff. That sounds good. Lightning Strike I already have, right? That's the same. 120%. Uh, where, where's it at? Alright. Um, yeah, that's the same I already have, so... Alright, don't need that then. Anger, cast an order that adds fire damage to the attacks of you and your allies. You and nearby and allies deal additional fire damage with attacks. Okay, so... Warlord's Mark seems... Okay, well, let's actually read Incinerate. Um, just launches Torrent of Fire from your hand. The longer you repeatedly cast a spell from the same location, the larger and more damaging the flames become. Huh. Okay. Anger sounds useful. Leap Slam sounds useful. And Warlord's Mark sounds useful. What a choice. What a choice. Ham. So this gives me more flask charges, I gain life from hitting stuff, it's not as cool as Leap Slam though. And this is an aura that is always useful, as long as it's up. And it has 50 mana reserve, um, that's a bit of mana here. So I don't think I'm getting that because I don't really have that ma much mana to spend just yet. But it will be useful later on and I don't know if I'm gonna find it, you know. Um, but I think it's... Yeah, so how much damage is this? Just normal, normal damage, right? This is my normal damage but it's a skill that gets me closer to the enemy. Um, yeah, I think I just need to get Warlord's Mark, although later on the Mana Leech won't be that useful, but the Life Leech still will be. Um, and the Flask Charge increases, sounds pretty good, so that's what I'm going with. I hope it's the right choice, let's see. Uh, Low and heavy strike. Alright, so I gotta exchange it for infernal blow. Right now, that seems the way to go. And why am I still holding that gem? Do I need to do anything with it? Baleful gem? Uh, Hmm. Okay, so that's at least the completed quest now. So now I have the root of the problem still, which I can't do anything with. Uh, sharp and cruel. Okay. Uh, through sacred ground, Yina has asked you to locate the hand of the good man in the ruins of the dun church dungeon to the south of the crossroads, which lies to the east of the forest encampment. way forward. Um, where's... Didn't this guy have a quest for me as well? I have no use for Helena's kind of peace. Yeah, he has a problem with her, but I don't understand. They fall from trees onto your back. Want to twist your head, break your neck. Put your back to a tree or they cover you like fleas. 
Inner Chieftain. Stand back when he beats his chest. Bark is worse than bite. Hmm. Okay. Um. Um. But. I don't know. Maybe that was just the quest completion. It seemed like he gave me a quest to do something. Like he wanted me. To turn her in. But I don't see that. Quest anymore. Um. This is confusing. Either way, I think I need to look at these two quests first now. That's going to be the next thing for me to do.